An evil clown brought to justice. That's what the United States Postal Inspector is saying tonight. Now that a man has pleaded guilty to robbing a Franklin County post office, not once, but twice while wearing a clown mask. Fox 2's Max Deaton and I joins us now live at the St. Albans Post Office. And Max, this clown's actions weren't funny at all. Mandy, they were not, but now police say the joke is on him. It all started when this bad clown pried open a door at this Franklin County Post Office. Caught on camera, you're looking at pictures of a man in a clown mask breaking into the St. Albans Post Office back in August and stealing packages. That man, later identified as 28-year-old Scott Weatherby, has pleaded guilty in U.S. District Court to two counts of burglary. When investigators tracked him down at his home in Pacific, they say he tried to run off, but they caught him and found this now infamous clown mask and several stolen packages in his car. Residents say they still can't believe this happened here. My reaction was kind of made me laugh, you know. A guy putting a clown mask on to break into a federal, you know, post office, which is the most idiotic thing you could ever think of, is breaking into a federal post office because you're going to, it's a federal crime. I mean, who does that? Oh, well, it, it, there's still a joke out here about it. You know, we have a clown robber out of St. Albans, Franklin County. Postal Inspector Matthew Villacana tells Fox 2 the quick work by his team and Franklin and Jefferson County deputies, quote, put an end to the deeds of this evil clown. The community has since put up cameras at both entrances in an effort to prevent any more funny business. How about a message for this clown? <laughs> Happy jail time. <laughs> By the way, Weatherby could face up to five years in prison and up to a quarter of a million dollars in fines. No laughing matter there. He's scheduled to face his sentencing on May 7th in U.S. District Court. Reporting live in Franklin County tonight, Max Deke, Night Fox 2 News.